Let's talk a little bit about the alternatives we can use to do full stack JavaScript development with Node, React, and MongoDB. In this course, we haven't used any pre-configured template and did our own configuration instead. Our dependencies are simple. I'm a fan of being in control of everything I use in my project. However, sometimes it's easier to start from pre-configured templates. And in this movie, I'm gonna show you a few options. The first option is MERN. MERN stands for MongoDB, Express, React, and Node. So it's the exact stack that we've been using, but it also adds really cool things like Redux and React Router. The other option I wanna show you is Electrode by Walmart Labs. This one is only React and Node though, so it doesn't come with MongoDB configured like MERN, but it's still a very strong option. So let me actually show you how to use both of these options and I'll walk you through the code that they generate at first. Starting with MERN is easy. You can either fork this repo or you can use the CLI. So let's use the CLI. MERN install, and then we initialize an app with the init command. This just fetch the same boilerplate code and initialize it for you. So let's go in here, take a look at that. One thing you'll notice right away is that there are different configurations for different environments, which is really cool. So let me take a look at this project. Lots of files. Let's take a look at package.json. And in here, you'll see the dependencies that this package is working with. A few things to notice, this package uses Mongoose, so it's not the native Mongo driver, this is a different driver. And it also uses Redux, which is a really great state container for React. We haven't been using state container in our code, we just used React state. The other big change is using React router. We also haven't used React router, we just did our own simple routing. So there's a lot more options here than what we did. There are a few scripts that we can run here with MERN, but before we do, we should definitely npm install all the dependencies. And I think this will take a while because there is a lot of dependencies. So let me fast forward. When we have all the dependencies installed, we can run the server with npm start. This command is going to do a few things and it's actually a little bit slow on my machine, but you have to wait for the port. So now we see the port and now we see the webpack built. We're ready to test. To test, we go to localhost port 8000 and you'll see a starter blog here. This is the template that comes with Mern, and you'll see sample blog posts here so we can navigate to them and go back. And this is actually server side ready. They have the same problem, that's unfortunate, but it's still server side ready. So we can render this without JavaScript, which is really cool. It renders all the content. It doesn't render the CSS, but it renders all the content and you can actually create a new post. Here's my new post, and it actually persists everything to MongoDB. So this is a fully working configuration with server-side rendering. Let me walk you through it a little bit. So the start script also uses Nodemon and runs index.js. This is how we track what's going on here. Index.js has two modes. There is production mode and there's everything else. And for everything else, it register Babel and runs the server file here. Let's go to the server file. The server file is where Express is configured and also Mongoose and everything else. You'll see familiar lines like we did. This template uses webpack div middleware for development. It also loads the dummy data that we've seen first, and then uses body parser, also uses the static middleware, and the API is under posts. And then it renders the initial HTML here directly. So let's take a look at the API. You would track posts here and look like posts is coming from routes, posts.routes. So let's take a look at that. Here is the API. And the API is working with a controller from controllers. So controllers is where we're doing all the preparing for responses. The React application is under this client directory. So it starts with index.js. And in here, you'll see two things. First, it's using Redux and Redux stores. It's also using React Hot Loader, which if you do any changes here, it will replace everything in the application, keeping the current state. And then the app component, which is in app.js, is using the provider from Redux and then the router library from React Router. And it renders the routes. The routes are defined here in routes.js. So we have an index route and we have a post route. Remember, we can go to a post. This is the post route. 
And both of them just render a component, which you can find in here. So it's really easy to navigate the code here. It's very readable. And it's actually a really great opportunity for you to learn how to do things from a template that's already configured and working with great options. So let's now take a look at Electrode. So you install Yo, which is a generator, and you install the generator for Electrode. We're also installing Gulp. Once you have these globals, you want to create a directory for the application and then run the generator for Electrode. This is going to ask you a few questions. You can use the defaults. And here are all the files that get generated. Definitely much simpler than MERN, but again, MERN is doing a lot more than Electrode. Once the generator is done, we can start the project with gulp dev. And when this command is done, we can navigate to localhost port 3000. That's the default for Electrode. And you'll see a React application with some state. And this state is actually managed with Redux. And similar to MERN, this is also server side render ready. So it renders HTML if you don't have JavaScript. So let's take a tour of this code here. The package.json file, you'll notice that most dependencies are actually other NPM packages by Electrode. So it's actually a little bit harder to see what's going on here because there's a lot of other packages to explore, but let's take a look. So we have a server directory and this is where the server runs. The server is running from the Electrode server package and we have a config directory and we have the client directory where we have the application. So this is the app.jsx is the entry point for the application. And this is also using React Router and Redux. The initial routes are in routes.jsx and we only have one component, which is the home component. And the home component is under home JSX. And it's what you see in here. Managing the state with Redux, you'll see that there are events that get defined from the props of these components, which is coming from Redux in here. You can see map dispatch to props. So you can see toggle check, for example, or increment number. Let's take a look at increment number. Under actions, you'll see increment number, which just dispatches a simple increment number. You'll see under reducers that this increment number is handled for the state and the view subscribe to the store state and it will re-render when the state changes. So the client side here is actually much simpler to navigate. And by the way, Redux is an excellent next step after this course. So you wanna take a look at Redux and see the value it offers. It's really simple to learn and use, and it's definitely a great next target to learn after this course.